Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here actually just going over some patch notes for an update. So what we did get from Astragon today was today we are shipping a hotfix patch with the version number 230324. Focusing primarily on bug fixes and improvements related to the uh, recent released coal and power update so apparently having some issues there um, so some of the things we'll go over the change log was um, switches and crossovers so they fixed an issue that prevented you from linking the rightmost point when placing a turnout or a switch fixed an issue that caused switches to occasionally place backwards or incorrect after an attempt snapping in the correct orientation, fix the left-hand three-way stub switch missing ballast on the left. So some of the switch fixes there definitely were some issues when it came to laying um, switches and stuff like that at the link point. So it looks like that stuff has been fixed, which is definitely good to see. <coughs> um, looks like we have a long list of locomotive fixes. So they fixed an issue um that caused the et i'm just going to summarize it calling it the et so it caused the et um 280 to derail at spawn um the dynamo to trigger audio and light when there is an oil lamp in place um also fix the headlight option three to not be centered and sometimes appear over scaled Fix the class 48 wheels turning at far too high of rate. Fix the class 48's headlight not being centered. Also fixed an issue that caused the 10 mile lamp number five to always allow you to remove the headlamp from what? I don't even know what that is. Headlamp from the class 48. Fixed an issue that caused the 10 mile lamp five to always allow you to remove the headlamp from the 48 so not sure what that is fixed an issue that caused the 10 mile pilot drawbar to become wonky when coupling <laughs> fixed the cook 260 coal launches when randomly re-railing Oh, so the cook would launch when randomly re-railing. That's what that is. Okay. Fix the Shea smoke to be offset to the funnel. That's cool because that was a little weird. Fix that the skeleton cars are very prone to derail. Fixed an issue that caused the locomotive wheels to become motionless when brake and throttle are at 100%. Not sure what that is. Fixed an issue that caused coal load to clip through the new hopper car. So not exactly sure again what that one is. Um, let's see. Gameplay. They fixed issues causing the player to get stuck when exiting a locomotive. Disabling the option to respawn. Fixed an issue causing the telegraph office message to not loop. So that looks like the bulk of the patch notes, at least as far as I can tell. So we did get an update. No new toys in said update. But we do have uh, some better performance, hopefully, is the idea, I guess, that we are looking for. And there is the telegraph loop. So that back to being a thing, and hopefully that uh, makes some people happy. I guess the telegraph loop's not something I guess I focus too much on, but there you go, right? So it's fixed, and uh, performance, like I said, no new toys, nothing super exciting in that department, but we can always be happy that we get better performance in a smoother running game. So fix some issues that I didn't even know about, and hopefully that helps some people. But I think uh, with that one, we're going to call it a win for the day. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.